Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, yay. Hey, it's Gabby the Game Night here, and I'm back playing some more. Thanks, right, Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations, with Maddie from Beatty, as he ends, February 9th, 343 a.m. Hardy Clinic, Intensive Care Unit. Unit? Unit. Hardy Clinic. Uh, 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 it's Phoenix! In the thing we saw! Can you believe it? Rain and Spain in the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. <clears throat> All that just to use my normal voice. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but it's too funny. I mean, it's not even that funny, but I laughed about it, well, so we'll I just, do it. I just they ruined it. Can, they can't not do it. I've ruined it now. Well, they can't not do it. I just need to come in here and use my normal voice. I just love it, this area. Reading through the draft record of a certain case. One was good, not I had to set it up, but. Okay. Still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, the deceased Mia Faye, had ever handled in a court of law. The deceased, she wasn't. The deceased was hand said that. Why'd you add that on? I don't know, it just felt appropriate. Okay. I can editorialize some if I want to. <clears throat> Or are you one of those directors who requires just strictly go off the script? <laughs> I mean, what I'm about in the moment. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. I mean, I don't mind an ad lib here and there. Dahlia Hawthorne. What I have read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling into Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. He's at the Hottie Clinic? Is that the only fucking clinic around? I don't know. But I ended up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. It was probably COVID, Phoenix. I feel dizzy, my ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head is on fire. But I will recover. I have to recover by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. But I know that he would be able to help me with him, somehow. There's the bun bread, February 9th, 2 43 p.m. Dustin Wait, what day did the murder occur on? Uh, days before this. I just want to know how Maya's doing. Yeah, it's been like two days. Three days. Two, <laughs> two, two, two three days. She had to go out and hunt a wolf for sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be primal Maya by the time we find her. <laughs> Right, are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? Still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian, in order to speak- Shut the fuck up, Gums. Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. <clears throat> I don't really want to cough. <laughs> you want to do the cough? Yeah, Bingza stops coughing. I don't want to cough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I read a day's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shishishido did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. How do we feel about this trio, huh? Gumshoe and Edgeworth and Phoenix on the case together? I want, like, like an action-based... It's still like a mystery game, but like an action-based mystery game with the three of them. <laughs> Another sword, huh? <clears throat> Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. Hey, that's probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct to low visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is? Our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I have the feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation, one way or the other. And since I probably won't be getting that from you. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bid you adieu, right? Take care. Alright, Vegeta. <coughs> Guess I should get moving, too. Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I've got to get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get across to the other side. Oh, that's right. 
Maya still stuck. I just remembered. <laughs> Damn, I had time to research all this other shit and completely forgot about Maya. <laughs> but don't you worry, pal. As soon as it's all set, you'll be the first to know. Th thank you, Gumshoe. Cough, cough. <laughs> cough, 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 cough. I just don't want to cough because okay, then I'll, 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 I'll like have to wash thing. my hands. Or... Next time. No problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? All right, I'm off. I'd hate to walk around going cough, cough, cough. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cough that doesn't make you cough. It just makes you say cough repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Hang in there, Maya. We'll get you out. I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. All right, let's jump off the bridge. Great night, Tommy Hall. So, did he like carry those flags everywhere with him? Because he had those at the corn dog stand or whatever he was running to, remember? Yeah. Larry! <laughs> Larry's! You want to insert a Joe Gatto clip there? I've got one. <laughs> I was sure he'd be hiding here. I guess I'll try again later. Oh, I guess I'll try again now. Great, I'll see them tomorrow. <laughs> February 9th at Hazakura Temple. The main gate, come on, please, it's for art's sake. Come on, please, it's for art's sake, I swear! There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent and high strong. I'm talking about the heroine here. The heroine in my book, it'll make you famous. Hey! Ah! Oh, hi, Francisco. Enough! Mm. A fool's fool, fool's oh, fool's who foolishly good. accepts the foolishness of a fool's fool. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix writes? Huh? Me? I can see Phoenix and Francisco together, too. He just forgot who she was. <clears throat> Your reflexes and mine need to shape up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up, and you want to grow me over a name? Franzi, you can't do that! Even as we speak, Nick's on the brink of death! Or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse, isn't that one of your American sayings? No, it's not. And I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs to model for my new picture book, Francie's Whippity Whip Trip. <laughs> before you ask me to model, learn to give at least semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh, just like that dude with the red underwear. Superman? Don't think I'm going to forgive you guys... When you come crawling back to apologize. Ah, off he goes. So we are alone now, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> it's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year, Phoenix Wright. Yo, remember when, I'm we, was, remember when we were on the same team that one time, Francisco, oh. when you brought the evidence we needed? Oh, that was so awesome. Although, I guess, kind of, you know... What are we doing here? You're not even letting me read any- Oh, you're just fucking around. Yeah, I'm getting constantly whipped. <laughs> okay, there's something on the shelf. Yeah, there's like a hair hanging off the shelf here. That's what was tickling me in the last video. See? <laughs> there's a damn hair on the shelf. I wasn't crazy. I mean, maybe I was, but I was correct about the hair. I don't know if that has been sufficiently good. Princess, come on, come on! <clears throat> Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record, that's really. Oh, Joy. Sounds like she hasn't changed the what bit. perfect win record? Has it really been a year since we first met? Please we really ruined that. And Francisco von Kamas, the prodigy. I see. I gave up a promising career in Germany and came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Francisca was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. He had a perfect win record for 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. He, he died? He died? I don't remember that. <clears throat> don't tell him you still hold a grudge against me because of what happened to your father. Phoenix Wright, you will fall before me. This, I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes, Crystal. My name is Francisca, not Crystal. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. 
Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by Manfred von Karma as well. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He says this case has a special significance to you. Because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy wincy pieces all the better. Yeah? <laughs> it's probably the fever, but she's looking hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't far off. <laughs> oh, no. she's, uh. she's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Ow! No <laughs> smoking. No whipping the sick. Is that foolish fool doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool? Ezworth, my boy. <laughs> Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring me some cold killer X, you know. It's a reference to the last case of cold killer X. It always sounds like a punk band. <laughs> I went over the whole case file once the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes, every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made it the very interesting read, you know. Attempting to cross a burning bridge? Did you even consider the dangers? Can you go to the court record real quick? Uh, what was the date of the murder? Date of the murder? Yeah. Do we have that? Not sure we have that. Nothing in here says what the date of the murder was. We don't have don't any sort of so. we don't have any sort of report. I don't know. It was like two days. But ago. what about the weather report? I don't have a date on it. February seventh. Like so, yeah, it's like two days ago, which means she got here a day ago. So they had that time to put that whole report together and her to read everything. It just seems like a weird timeline. Yeah. And meanwhile, Maya's just been sitting over there for two days. Yeah. That's fine. No. <clears throat> the only thought in my mind was I have to get across. The most common questions I get as a pe Sorry. I wanted to watch the reel again. Make the no. Oh, it's no big deal. Dr. Tommy Martin's not gonna sue you. Who? A fool who doesn't think. I'm, I'm not saying he's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him that well. <laughs> a fool who doesn't think he's more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Gumshoe said she'd let me know. He'd let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's got to be okay. I just know it. Maya's just dead when we go. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the Inner Temple that night. Okay, bye, Francisca. February 9th, how's it going? Temple of my hall. I'm gonna take a shot. If it's wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> You're gonna take a shot, a shot of what? <laughs> Ma! That was one long sigh. Nailed it. Sigh. Um, Sister Bikini. My, my, my! I didn't know you were here! How are you doing? Wah, wah, wah. Uh, um, you don't have to pretend to be in a good mood for my sake. I... I suppose I've made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mystical Lee's die, and then there's Iris as well. Mystical Lee's? Now that I think about it. Hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the Inner Temple. Yeah. And that poor little girl has gone missing. Oh, yeah, That's but right. the fuck we, is We Paul. forgot about Pearl, even. <laughs> that little girl. Y you don't mean pearls, do you? Fink Dan, no pearls in this. Men were fucking irresponsible. Fink Dan, no. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid I've been in the hospital the whole time. She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls, she's missing? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Fucking Edgeworth? Where's my daughter? I must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mr. Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least I was until this morning. I don't see any psyche lock, so she must be telling the truth. Yeah, psyche lock. Mm, so why are you so unsure of yourself all of a sudden? You know that artist who testified after me? I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. I felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so fervently about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. <laughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he draws is trouble and nothing else. 
If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Inner Temple. Is that correct? That's right. I'm sure it was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room in Hazakura Temple. I know I shouldn't have come back here that night. But because you did, Maya is stuck all by herself at the Inner Temple. I'm so sorry. The traps in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Yeah, earthquakes? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next big one levels the training hall. We gotta get Maya out of there, fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusky Bridge is so isolated like an island. It's like an island, how so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the Inner Temple. No one lives out there and is surrounded on all sides by the river or the forest. I, I see. So a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. With Maya? That means Maya could be stuck out there with a murderer and with no way of escape either. Oh shit! Yes, I suppose it does! <laughs> oh, please, Gumshoe, get that bridge up faster! I'm curious about a few things if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh, do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No. No? <laughs> I, I want to know a little more about the victim, Ms. Elise Denim. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size or her bust size for that We're not asking! No, I'm wondering why she came to stay in a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told us herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. My, 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 you make it sound like this place is some sort of dump, Mr. Wright. Mr. Galiz was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There, you did it again. Sister Bikini. I noticed you always refer to Ms. Donim as Mystic Elise. Oh? Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an accolade. Well, we address all our visitors as Mystic. It makes her experience feel authentic. And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? How do you say for sure that she's older than you? Oh, that's a tightly locked secret. Hmm. Seems Ms. Elise the Nim is no ordinary visitor after all. And there's pearls. She was with Mr. Nim in the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all got to be connected somehow. But why did pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, Mr. Wright, I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Oh, man. My head's throbbing so badly, it's killing me. Pearls. She was with Mr. Nim on the night of the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know. I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once, even once after we'd finished eating dinner. <clears throat> the murder. It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? I'm too armatized for life, governor. According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her home either. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where Pearls could be. She just has to be there. Come the on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repair soon. In the end of the temple? Click, click, clack, clack, click. This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so maybe there are some clues that have yet to be found. You think they wouldn't just leave the murder weapon and the staff and stuff out there? I mean, that seems a little suspicious to me. The Shishishito. It's there in Mystic Ami's right hand. What was that? Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. <clears throat> and I had a sword like that for one of my G.I. Joe figures when I was a kid. <laughs> Mr. Nem's staff. I definitely remember there being a crystal sphere attached to the staff. I guess Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of Dusky Bridge, but what was it doing all the way out there? That building up there is the main hall. It was where we were staying. It sits kind of funny because it was built on a very steep slope. If you enter from the main gate side, these rooms above me are on the ground floor. Apparently, Mr. Nim was staying in the corner room. I guess that's where she was pushed from that night.
They get quite a bit of snow up here in Eagle Mountain. Around here, skis aren't just for fun. They're tools for getting around. But the sled, that's got to be for Bikini's own personal entertainment. The main gate's on the other side of that stone wall. The difference in elevation is almost 10 feet. That's how steep this hillside is. And that's also the height the body fell from, according to the autopsy. Is it possible that Mr. Nim was pushed from the top of the wall? I can't even drag the ladder. <clears throat> My hair so says, she's like, that's a step ladder. Or whatever. There are a few of those stone lanterns scattered about this courtyard. Without the city glare to compete with, I imagine they would seem a lot brighter. I guess Sister Bikini must light them now, since Iris can't be here. Well, I'm saying nothing here. Damn birds. Damn birds. Damn birds. Damn birds. What? Hey! I said, hey. Oh. What, what was that jarring? Oh, so somebody else showing. Damn. Yeah. Well, oh well, they sounded like Sister Bikini for a minute. So this is where you've been. Keeping nice and warm, I see. The detective, have you finished? The bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I'd let you know. Well, 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 then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted to people involved in the cave. What was that? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't get much more involved than me. Well, yeah, but that's not... Oh! Hi, Francisco. Is everyone coming along? It's a party? It's been a while, Scruffy. Uh, it's... Miss v... v... Angarba! Sister... Please, please investigation to me. My, my, my! Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control! I am on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix Wright? Ah! That hurts, you know. Silence! I, Francisca von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She's not seriously going to follow me around, is she? You gave Francis go on karma. Yay! The, oh, wow, he set that up quickly. Oh, right, let's go, Maya! Maya, you're alive! February oh, February ninth, Inner Temple Gate. Things have certainly become a lot more hectic than before. They must have commenced with that with the investigation. Th that voice should have been yours. Yeah. Who else would say Mr. Nick? Yeah. Pearls. Yeah, Miss Nick. Miss Nick. I killed a wolf and ate it. <laughs> so you were here ever since that night? I was so lonely. I thought I was going to die. Lonely? When I woke up in the morning and saw the dusky bridge was gone, I realized I was all alone. She was all alone. Where's Maya? It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Ah, you're... I am Francisco Von Karma, the prodigy. So there's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who made Missing Maya last year. Well... I... I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip. Missing Maya didn't do anything wrong, but you're so mean. I'll never forgive you, governor. I... I... It looks like Pearl's words are getting under her skin. Yeah, why are you whipping me? I didn't. You didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. Anyway, pearls. Weren't you with Maya? Ah. That was I'm, a weak I'm sorry. Act. It's it's all my fault. I pushed Maya off the plane. Huh, what are you talking about, pearls? I I. <laughs> Maybe Maya. Wait, pearls. She just ran off. Ow! Why are you whipping me again? So that was cool, Phoenix, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What's that all about? Pearl's acting like that? It's giving me the creeps. I guess I'd better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something seems this uh, about this place seems different from two days ago. It does. Are you just gonna completely ignore the other side that they started you on? Fine. It was just odd that you left it to go back. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. It smells like Maya. 
Fuck off. <laughs> sorry. How does he know what it smells like when she burns? What kind of kinky games are they getting up to? <laughs> kill me. I branded Maya the other night. <laughs> kill me. Actually, kill me. <laughs> sorry. The door is also open, almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, well, let's see what stunning clue is concealed in here, shall we? Oh, I bet there's going to be a stunning clue. Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix Wright. But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Francisca von Karma? I seem to remember. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright, it is impertinent to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Look at all the Buddha statues lined up along this path. Phoenix Wright, do you sense how many siblings the head nun has? Why don't you ask her the next time you see her? You know what? I think I will. And she'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. I'm just going Phoenix Adventures. Phoenix Wright! What? Would you stop calling me by my full name like that? Was this once a prosperous port? A port? Yes, that meant the hope of mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that. That's an anchor for one of the wires that's used to hold up the bridge. I think the wire was tied to this one pro the wire that was tied probably snapped when the bridge burned down. I mean, there's no way there was ever a port all the way up here. <clears throat> Don't get smart with me, Phoenix Wright. I didn't say anything. There's a little gate that leads into the garden. It says no entry on the sign, though. Come now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. It's half open anyway. What harm could come of it? But it says no entry. Don't you Americans enjoy doing whatever you like and then simply say whatever? It's got nothing to do with anything. And who told you that? <clears throat> the sign says Inner Temple. I don't know how you're reading it, but it's incomprehensible to me. Actually, I can't read it either. Failing <laughs> comprehension isn't a very good habit to have, Phoenix, right? Should have surely had to have finally caught me on something. This must be the door that leads to the inner temple. Well, my affair was training on tonight of the murder. Yeah, there's a solitary room there called the training hall. You could do some training yourself, Phoenix, right? Ah! You're completely out of shape. Mm, I don't know how much more of this woman I can take. Fanning Hall, where's Maya? Why is there a giant psyche lock on the door? <laughs> and who's the mustard all over Mommy Faye? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Maya, she was supposed to be in here training. Yet it appears she's nowhere to be seen. Maybe she is the murderer. What's that? That strange lock. It wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. Mommy Faye, what did they do to you? What do you think this yellowish poster is, Phoenix Wright? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No, it's not a different atmosphere. It's a different smell. It's gravy. Gravy? What's the matter? This scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, yes. There's a very appetizing smell in here. But gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. This must be the gravy that we had with the rose on the night of the incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Hanging scroll updated. Touch to see before and after view under the check screen. Interesting. I'm almost going with this giant cyclone. Hmm, this door. What is it hiding? When I was here two days ago, that weird lock wasn't on it. Those chains, it's almost as if they're guarding something inside that cabin. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. 
I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. But you know. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secrets during a psyche lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something too. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What took you so long? I thought even you'd manage to get here faster than this. Damn it. <laughs> Mr. Troy. <laughs> P Prosecutor Godot, I didn't even know you were here. Yeah, Prosec but how the fuck did he get here? When the fuck did he get here? Prosecutor? Oh, I thought that was Godot. How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I could ask you the exact same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold, so... I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. The importance of this is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Man, Godot, your voice has changed since that trial. <laughs> Enough. I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Who's the vile mad fight? This is Ms. Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. Huh. Well, I guess I owe you one then. I guess I owe you, you one then. You can go now, princess. It's you time can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the reins. <laughs> <laughs> Just who do you think you are? This case is my... Hey, Philly, know your wall and shut your mouth. The rock? I can't stand a woman like you. I'm only going to say this once. Lady Von Rippenburg, go home. Man, what a dick. Phoenix Wright! What are you hitting me for? Huh. You deserve more than the cracks of a whip then. More cracks of the whip than that, right? What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you've set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. There's something different about the other day. I'm getting such a strong sense of something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger? Or is it sorrow? I'm an attorney. I don't know, guess. Oh, fences that stole with us. Nice. You had some important business and that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before, but perhaps you don't remember. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. You see, right? I've experienced something most have not. Death. You died? Of course, being ex extradited from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is low. Let's just say modern medicine allows <clears throat> us all to live to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean that mask you wear is... This ugly device. I promise not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see you frequently dumbfounded face. I, I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see anything. Still, I keep this worn-out piece of junk of a body going with regular service. I'm sorry, but you say you experienced death? How is that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Me? Yeah, right. You. You should know all about it. You know where my life ended. And who ended it for me. Well, <clears throat> Phoenix right? do you? I don't know what he's talking about. Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know how Godot was killed. It will all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, right? <clears throat> Earlier, you said I'd done something I can never undo. What did you mean by that exactly? The inner temple here on this side of Dusky Bridge is an isolated island. That's what Sister Bikini said, too. And I wondered, right? Do you know what the police are doing here today? What do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M missing? As leader of the search party, I can tell you this with absolute certainty. My affair is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. Huh? Well, but that's impossible. <clears throat> hmm? 
she came here that night, and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are nil. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where is that? The sacred cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So they haven't searched that cavern yet, huh? Be aware, though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if we were in there, the chances of her being found alive are slim at best. N no! Which means, Twight, that you sent my fate to her death. You fool! If that's the situation, why aren't you in there with the search party right now? You must have blinders on my equestrian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as you speak. Well, Twight, once again, a woman dies because of you. Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all, when the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? <clears throat> and do you know who that was? It was Maya Faye's sister. That, that's right. Mia Faye. M Mia? You killed her. No, that's not how it was. It was two years ago. Mia Faye was pursuing someone, a man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. Yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But I got that guy, personally. Sure, Miss Faye's murder was caught. But that won't bring her back. W well, no, but... You were with her at the time, you and no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. Yeah. You say Mia Fey was your teacher. Well, then I'd say you learned nothing, fight. You robbed her for life, and now you've let her sister suffer the same fate. <clears throat> I haven't sentenced Maya to death, no. What's this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It would be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. Air has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundation of the train core. An excessive force used to break o the lock open would, well, let's just say that the inner temple and the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well, then I dare suggest the obvious <coughs> solution of opening with the key? Huh. Sure, just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. Th there's no keyhole. That's right, an interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple, the accused. What? Iris? When Acolyte undergoes safe and training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister was responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, on the night of the murder, was no, the night of the murder was no exception. My affair was to train in there. This bikini did mention a number of times, now that I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the <clears> early <throat> stages of the training. So Iris, the accused, the only one who could open this lock. I've waited for it to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? I hope she gets here soon. We'll get you out. So, it's beginning back to work. Wait, Godot. How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cavern somewhere. It's the only place she, sh she could be. You'd better stop praying. You'd better pray that friend of yours brings their curse back here soon. Ezworth? Listen up, Fright. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. Bye. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix, right? That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. Guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. Someone is saying, I don't know. Should I or shouldn't I? I, I don't know. Sh should I or shouldn't I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself. Yes. Where's that coming from? No, God no damn way. it! <laughs> Go any the honestly. I'm like one for three so far today. Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Oh, my brain. This is driving me nuts. 
Ah! There's something troubling you, Scruffy. But please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting, a friendly tap on the shoulder. With my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Something on your mind? How do you know, pal? Perhaps you're trying to decide if you want to wash that off or not. How do you know, sir? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I am um, kind of already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? So what's behind that, Scruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah. Anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you, pal. Isn't it only the other way around? Well, see you later. So, shall we adjourn to this garden, Phoenix, right? Of course. What else will we do? I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off. Oh, okay. February 9th, Inner Temple Garden. <laughs> it says Maya. Yeah, I know. I'd look at it. It says Maya. <laughs> There's a strange feeling in the air. I, I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. What's that strange writing on the stone lantern? Uh, 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 what are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? Ivan Kamo will always show up wherever there is a clue. And there are plenty of clues to be found here. A blues clue. But, <laughs> Francisco Ivan Kamo and blues clues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I'm sure we got stuff to look at. There's a charm or something poking out from the snow. Looks pretty old. The leather cord tied to it too. Apparently, it belonged to the victim. To Miss Elise Dunham. Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. The ends of the cords found on both the victim and on this charm matched exactly. Interesting. Sounds to me like this old trinket is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. The master talisman. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. A little lantern, a little statue. Did this turn out coins of the garden? Oh! What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's, um, it's a, a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. It's true. I wonder if this has any impact on the case. Um, well, I, uh, I doused my face earlier with the water in this. I was getting kind of sleepy. Next time you're sleepy, you need to come, only come to me. Got it? The heck is that? Uh-oh. You spotted it, huh, pal? Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It says, Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all our questions now, Scruffy, without exception. Y yes, sir. After I look at the pool. I can't look at the pool. What the fuck? There are a couple of torches here. I guess you need all the light you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. Looks like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recently are we talking about? This recent is the night of the murder. Maya was training here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think these things were lit at the time, I guess. You're not trying to talk to Scruffy. <clears throat> so how's the Inner Temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working in the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of the scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is clean as a whistle. Hmm. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh-oh. Well, there were a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern in the surrounding area That's is not... That's Huh? That's <clears throat> That stone lantern in the surrounding area is not covered in snow, correct? It looked kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking. 
So I got the lab boys to look them over. The results were, it's kind of hard to say actually. I guess I better look into them myself. Um, about Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yeah, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have even disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. We'll have to wait since the only one who can open the door to the sealed cavern. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, I felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. Maya, so these letters are written in blood. Yeah. What's worth is this the victim's blood. Huh? This is Mr. Nem's blood? We haven't done a detailed analysis yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Hmm, most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? No. You know what? That was really bothering me too. <clears throat> but I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down. <clears throat> Anyways, there's really only one logical explanation to this mystery. Ms. Elise Dunyan wrote this letter herself in her own blood. Y you must be joking. It's impossible. From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Denem's murder. At least that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? I've seen this one before. Turn over and look what's on the other side of the lantern, please. So, Miss Denem was killed here? However you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then, what's this bikini saw in the courtyard in the main temple was... Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? What do you think, Miss Margaro? Should a special gumshoe investigation would reveal us the answer, no? But wait a sec, the bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set all that up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix Wright. Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all this stuff here, pal. <clears throat> I can't believe I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. If this really was the scene of the crime, then I need to figure out exactly what it was the bikini actually saw. Thank it seems you have a visitor. Is it my boy? Oh, it's my girl, not my boy. Mr. Well, Wright? My boy is presumably here with my girl. Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Godot managed to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him. We've got to hurry and lock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault. Someone so important to you is locked in there. Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? All right. Let's hurry to the inner temple, then. I'll see you later, all right? Wait, Edgeworth, I'm coming <clears throat> with you guys. Sorry, Wright, I can't allow you to come with us. What? 
I hate to be the one to break it to you, but my affair is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. C come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's Maya. Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Maya is rescued, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We go now. Excuse us. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. Want the other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Where's Francisco, my new body? Hi, Bikini. Sister Bikini looks like she shrunk some since the last time I saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix, right? What's wrong, Sister Bikini? Hi, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? Waha! Waha! From the sound of that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. I, Iris was just here, you know. She was coming by that handsome crimson clad prince. She's talking about Edgeworth. It was just a courtesy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh, dear, it's all my fault that all this has happened. Poor Iris, she was worried about my back, would you believe? What have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. Well, I don't hear you at all saying that. Mr. Blue Suit doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Oh, huh? Ah! Oh, yes, you did great, Sister, Sister Bikini. Absolutely spectacular. <laughs> you two are the only ones who said that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix, right? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. Guess it's time to break those psyche locks of hers. Do we even have a ring, girl? Throw the magic hammer at her! You said, throw the magic hammer at her face! Kaplow! At least to men. Sister Bukhini, that fruit is becoming increasingly clear to me. He's the fucking Joker now? <laughs> or no, Bane? <laughs> Perhaps she is wondering why you would shoot a man before throwing him off of an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Miss Elise Denim had a special significance to the simple. As to why she had a special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What are you talking about? She... she was... The Miss Elise was an author, just an author of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I had met her. So, suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Mr. Nim's true identity. Mr. Nim had this charm with her at all times. This isn't some cheap good luck charm, either. Then, then, what do you think it is, Mr. Wright? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, is it? Interesting. This thing speaks volumes about who Mr. Nim really was.
Matilda item. <laughs> I don't know what the other item is. You know the other, what the other item is? She's not Maya's mom, is she? And the crystal oil books very similar to the crystal up there. Oh yeah, I was thinking that when we first got back to Sister Bikini here. Yeah, that's like that. Well, ha ha! You fucked up, Phoenix. Is a mommy fan? The painting's obscured by this gravy stain at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the Korean channeling technique. Oh, the symbol at the top. The crest at the top is the sign of that honorable title. Oh. The very same crest that adorns the talisman oh. that the victim carried with her. Oh. This crest is reserved for the master of Korean. Oh. What? I told you that nonsense! I've got no idea what you're talking about! The new master, Maya Faye, told me. What? You mean that acolyte? His misty face? Daughter? Daughter, yes. Are you sure? Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Faye's sole successor. Misty! Misty! Hey, Maya, good news. Your mom wasn't dead. Bad news, she now is dead. <laughs> Man, this plot's thicker than the gravy on that poster. Uh... <laughs> Misty released uh, graces with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with that mark on it, well, I nearly fainted. No one had seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What's the significance of the talisman, sister? The Korean talisman is the symbol of the master of Korean. The bearer must carry with them always until their death. So unfortunate. Until their death. So Elise the Nim was really Maya's mother, huh? Well, you're taking this surprisingly well, Phoenix. Uh, damn. <laughs> she was Misty Faye, the master of the Korean channeling technique. The truth comes out at last. It looks like we're making some headway here. He's really calm in this yeah. situation. <laughs> Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? And I guess he already pieced it together so that the surprise is kind of passed. Because something happened that called her out of hiding. W what happened? Well... Oh, oh fuck, an earthquake! I'm going to die! Well, what's happening? It, it can't be. Earthquake! Is it getting more shaky the more we talk? Uh, oh my goodness, the inner temple! This kind of trouble! Maya! Is it in the temple? The sacred cabin of the Trinity Hall of my very well came in! What? That was a baby. Maya! He doesn't feel like shouting. Insert shouting here. I don't want to blow out your mic. It, it seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the inner temple, of course. Where else? Oh. Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, all right? Of course. You run along now. People may have been hurt. I must get some first aid kits ready. Come on, Zen Phoenix Wright. They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. Thank you. You could have just fucking let me go earlier, but thanks now, I guess. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I... <laughs> Why did he get plus one flashes? Never mind, I give up. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he's alright. I'm not in Maya, not in Maya. <laughs> I never thought about Maya. Hey, look, words. Are you singing about the Miles Edgeworth? <laughs> oh, he's so gay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Aww. Aww. Yeah, we're going, Phoenix. Right. What? Don't worry, I'm okay. I know you were thinking about ah, it. What are you doing here? How could I have... How do you expect us to understand you if you don't speak up? Uh, hey, why am I the one getting whipped? Sh she's gone. N no. The defendant, Iris, she's gone. Oh, thank God, it's only the defendant. Gone where? 
She fled. She escaped. What? Oh. What's he do? Jump off the bridge? So, it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. Oh god, oh no, oh no, that's my favorite thing about him. Because he's scared of earthquakes. Oh. I should have known better than to ask good the defendant alone. So the ground starts shaking, everything in dark before my eyes, and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? There's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't believe I let it happen. Right, the inner temporary is a dead end, so she could have only escaped this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt on the way now and search Eagle Mount from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth. Have you thoroughly checked the Inner Temple yet? Don't be ridiculous, why would I? The Inner Temple is like an island, there's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris is the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said the Sacred Cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Does anyone think Iris might have gone to the Inner Temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth, I'm sure she's at the Inner Temple. A manhunt is not necessary. What? Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to the training hall, Sacred Cavern, now. Alright, let's go. Yeah, then we can finally worry about Maya. Fortunately, the Sacred Cavern hadn't caved in. Good. But what we found was something none of us could have ever expected. Psychilox? Okay, this is just fucking getting ridiculous. Uh -huh! yeah, how can there be even more locks? W what is the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Thanks for watching this episode of Gavin the Game Night. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, go to that video, see you on Monday. Vegworth forever. <laughs> Good night. Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, Gabby the Game Night, yay. Come on and watch her play. New games every other day. If you subscribe now, you won't miss out on any of the action. So come on, click that subscribe button.